Hello Art Stars! Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mother's Day pop-up card. So I'm going to start with some really basic shapes so you can build whatever picture you want. In fact, you can use it for all kinds of um, holiday cards, not just on Mother's Day. Um, but since Mother's Day is this weekend, I thought it would be a fun thing for you guys to do. Let's get started. For this project, you're going to need some construction paper, markers, scissors, and some glue. A glue stick would work really well for this um, if you have it. You can make some basic shapes that will pop up when you open the card. And then if you know how to make those basic shapes, you can build whatever picture that you want to. So for example, I'm going to just start with a square and then that can be used to make a gift box or the basket of a hot air balloon or a flower pot, anything that, um, that you can think of. So I'm going to use a marker to draw the lines before I cut them so it's really easy for you to see what you're doing. And then you're basically going to make your pop-up card out of one color and then once you have it all put together you're going to glue it inside um, another piece of paper that will be the cover for your card. If you don't have two pieces, then you're going to end up with a hole in your card. So you can kind of see how you can see through there. If this white cover wasn't here, then it would just be a hole in the card. So first I'm going to show you how to make a rectangle. So on the insert for my pop-up card, I'm just going to make two cuts here and here. Cutting from the fold of the card, and then once those two slits have been cut, I'm just going to put them on my table and fold the middle section over, and make it a nice clean fold, and then I'm just going to pop that rectangle inside the card, so it's going to be kind of like inside out, and flatten it, so hopefully you can see that so when I open it now I have a three-dimensional piece sticking out. Now that could be used as a platform to glue other shapes on or if I want to change the color of this shape of this box so that it shows up against the rest of the card kind of like I did with the flower pot over here. I have a purple background and I made the flower pot brown. Then I'm going to need some other scrap paper. Let's see, why don't we do, we'll do blue for this part. I would fold it so that there's a big enough piece of paper to fit my shape. I'm gonna close the insert for my card so I can see what shape I'm trying to cover. Okay, you can see it here. And if I line this edge of the fold up with my scrap paper, and I trace it. Now, I can cut out that contrasting color. And it's gonna fit right on that three-dimensional box that I made. So then I can glue this shape down. And when you open the card, that gift box is going to be three dimensional. And then I could decorate it by coloring or adding more pieces of paper. I could add stickers. I'm going to show you is how to make a triangle. So we're going to do the same thing as before. This is going to be the insert. It's going to go inside this card. And instead of a square, I'm going to make a triangle. So I'm going to cut this part and then I'm going to fold on the dotted line make a triangle. And 
And then the same thing, I'm just gonna pop it inside. It's a little trickier to do the triangle than to do a rectangle. Once we have that, we can turn that into a bouquet of flowers. We could turn it into an ice cream cone and add some ice cream on top. We could turn it over and now we have a Christmas tree. So there's a lot of things you can do with triangles. Another cute design would be to cut the top of a heart and then fold it on the diagonal similar to the triangle. So if you cut this part, and then fold the rest of it. You could also add a contrasting color the same way. Put it underneath, trace your shape. You can just glue that in place on top. that into the outside of my card. So I'm just lining it up with the fold and closing that on top of it. And then I'm going to the back side. pop-up part. Pretty cute. There's the finished card with the 3D heart inside. And this one with the flower pot. So you can use some of these ideas to make up your own designs and Make sure that you wish your mom a happy Mother's Day. See you next time.